welcome back to our channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how to apply false lashes. So many of you guys have been asking us how to apply our mink lashes. So I'm going to show you guys step by step how I apply these lashes. Um, today I'm using the Style Anaya. So let's get started. Okay, so step one is to get the lashes out of the box. So I'm going to be using our Anaya Mink Lashes today, and these actually have been used before, so ah, they're already out of the box. Um, the easiest way to take out the lashes from the box without ripping any of the fine mink hairs is to fold it. Let's see if I can do this backwards. <laughs> so fold it in half like this, and you want to gently remove the lashes from the roots. So do not pull the edges because these are handmade mink lashes. So gently start pulling them just like this from the root. And these again have already been removed so they came out very easily. But they will be a little bit sticky if you're using these for the very first time. But again, let me do this other side. You just take the root and you gently peel it. Okay. So now that you have the two lashes, what you want to do is measure them on your eyes. And the best way to do that is to tilt your head up and get a mirror. So I have this mirror sitting right below my chin. And I'm just going to tilt my head up and gently just place the eyelash right above my natural lash line. And I want to see from the, this edge to this edge if anything is sticking out. So these actually fit me perfectly. So you'll see that there's nothing pulling out. Now, if these were too big for me, they would be coming out more this way. Um, and the next question I usually get is, how do you know where to place it? Should I place it further out, further in? You wanna look at your natural lashes and how they grow. Normally our, our lashes do not grow all the way from here to the end. Sometimes they'll start in this little area right here. So just see where they are, your lashes naturally grow and that's where you, how you'll know where to place it. So these fit me perfectly. Now say if they did not fit me perfectly, um, if I'm going to cut anything from here, I'm most likely going to be cutting from the outer edges. And when I cut, I just use these scissors right here. These are super sharp and I'll get really close and I'll cut a little bit at a time. I won't cut a big section because if I cut a big section, I'm going to screw up the lash. So I will just cut a little bit at a time. And also on this side right here, the inner part, if you have too much of, um, the, if this area is poking out too much with less hair, then you want to just trim that a little bit as well. So this is what the lash looks like. Um, next step you want to apply glue. What glue to apply? There's so many glues in the market, but one of my favorite glues is by the brand called Duo, and you can get that at every drugstore. And it comes in a lot of different um, formulas and different um, styles. There's a tube style, which I'm gonna be using today. There's also one that comes with a brush where you twist it out and there's a brush at the end. That one's actually much easier to use, but I don't have it in front of me. So I'm gonna use a tube one, and with the tube one, to make things a little bit easier, I'm just gonna take some glue and apply it right there onto the plastic applicator. And then what I'll do is just take a Q-tip, grab a little bit, and gently brush it on the edge of the lash on this side. So let's look at the lash, and I'm gonna apply the glue in this outer edge. Make sure that you apply enough glue so it actually sticks and it doesn't come off. And one thing to keep in mind is if your eyes do water, they're gonna water on the outer and inner edges the most, probably more like the inner edges. So make sure you put extra glue in that area because that can be a little area that's kind of tough. So I'm trying to show you guys without. And then once the glue is applied, I'm going to just set it down on the counter. Or if you're just not sure, you think it might stick to the table, just hold on to it. You have to be patient with it. And you want the glue to be 
not completely dry but almost dry before you stick it on so that's the major key right here is to make sure that the glue is very very tacky um, if you go right in and put it on your this the glue is going to slip and slide all over your lashes and the work that you did on your eyeshadow is all going to get messed up so you can blow it but if you're working on a client do not blow it because that's just gross but if it's yourself you can blow it or you can just kind of fan it out if you want so what I like to do is I put the glue on and then I put it down and then I'll go ahead and pick up the other one. But again, if this is like your first time doing this and you're um, not sure how long it's going to take you to put that one lash on, then don't even bother with the second one. Just do the first one, worry about that one first, and then move on to the second one. Because what will happen is if you take like 15 minutes to do one eye to perfect it, the glue is going to be dry on the other one. So, so I'm going to go ahead and put the glue on the other one, a light layer, but again, make sure it's enough glue that you're applying. And then I think I'm ready to pick up this next one. So, well, the first one. So again, when I'm applying this, I have a mirror down here. I'm holding the mirror and I'm looking down into the mirror with my chin tilted up and I'm going to take the lash and I'm going to go and apply it from above and then bring it down in on top of the eye. So basically the first step is placing it. You're just going to place it. Don't worry about it being perfectly in its spot because we're going to babysit it into its location. So going in from the top and just placing the lash. It's placed. Placed on top of your natural lash line. Now, either you can use some tweezers or you can use your fingers depending on if you have a very steady hand, which I do. I'm going to go in and slowly start pushing it into its place. This is why the glue has to be super tacky. And if you need to at this point, you can close your eyes, but you have to just be really careful. And then what I'm going to do is I will grab my tweezers just to make sure everything is pushed in. And I'm going to pick up my mirror and now just look straight this way just to make sure that it's properly placed and it doesn't look wonky. Okay, I'll show you guys from this side. Okay, super, super easy. Again, just always make sure you have plenty of glue. One thing is sometimes I get asked, what if it's already placed but one section is missing glue? So that's where you wanna just go in with the Q-tip or if you have the one that has the brush, just get a very little amount and then go in, apply the glue in its location Wait for it to get tacky and then push it in. I'm gonna grab my tweezers. Got my tweezers, this is what my tweezers look like. You can grab these at any drugstore. And just push it in place. Okay, just like so. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the second one. I put a nice light layer of glue. And again, we're just going to go in from the top and down and just place the lash. Okay, so we just placed it and I'll go ahead and use my tweezers for this time. So if you can keep your eyes open and keep your eyes really still instead of like just moving them around, this will be so much more easier for you guys. And again, this mirror, having a mirror down here below your chin is really key. So you can actually see where it belongs. Okay. And the glue is just going to dry and then the lashes are on. You can just make sure the lashes on each side are even while you're waiting for it to dry. And if you feel like the lashes sticking up on one side or it doesn't look even on the other side, this is the time for you to mess around with them because the glue is not completely dry. So you can just, I like to use the word babysit, you can babysit the lashes. 
and you can even take your real lashes and the false lashes and just pinch them lightly so they're pinched together. And then while I wait for all of this to dry, I will go in and apply mascara on the bottom. And then once the top is completely dry, then I'll go in and apply a little bit of mascara just at the root to um, marry the two lashes together and just to give it a little bit of lift. So let's go ahead and 